Hey, what's going on guys? Slide here. We're going to play some uh, Gunfire Reborn, a lay low run. I am doing some tier list prep runs, and right now I am testing out a couple things. I need to test, um, what is it called? Electric Circuit. I have a, uh, currently I have a feeling this is one of his weakest options. But I do need to test Thunderbolt Converter. Pause real quick. Right, so I just take the wiki. This damage is multiplicative, right? So the question remains, how good is it? Um, and can you use this with this, you know, to do, and maybe this, to do something that's good, you know? Um, so we're going to be exploring that space today, seeing if there is anything there that's sort of worth worth calling your mom about and uh we're gonna find out so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy this. this is a pretty uh pretty pretty relaxed run i'm not i'm not really trying to win really trying to understand uh something different like i'm just trying to understand the power level right and to do that i'm, I'm gonna play pretty weird most likely and maybe choose some things that don't quite make sense so what gifted man do we want so I'm going to Thunderbolt to strike the target when it hits one enemy. It's not what we want to do. We want to hit a lot of enemies, right? This could be good. You know, I suspect that taking high-powered arc early is actually good with this build. That's going to allow us to chain more enemies together easily to do this combination. Elemental effect chance, I could see that being good. Maybe if we do some sort of miasma build with it. That, that might help us right there. And it would allow us to do like more bolt from the blue stuff, where we're sort of doing this. We're like doing this flexible build where we can cast bolt from the blue, hit a couple people, trigger some elemental effects, trigger some thunder strikes, and do chain lightning damage, and then kind of come out of that with a big hit that sort of hits everything. The problem with this like build is like for me to see it getting to like the critical mass of power level I feel like we need a lot of ascensions and at that point all those ascensions would be pushing you toward a different play style that would be just better at that point during fatal current doesn't cost secondary skill uses once again this is more like a pure chain lightning build it's not really it's not really moving in the direction that I think we'd want um, this seems probably best, right? Because the other options allow us, to, the other chain lightning option allows us to cast lots of chain lightnings, whereas this one allows the chain lightning we do cast, that's intended to hit many enemies, to be powerful. Um, or to at least be more powerful. So let's try this, let's see how this goes. Uh, we want high powered arc, there it is. I need to warm up played at all times. All right, I think I'm ready. Thunder seems great. Nice and easy. And the piercing is a uh, But I can just get by with using the light and the no need to pick that up. It's a waste of time. Right there, it's really important to check your mini map because you'll be able to see if someone's right there. Yeah, but the fact that Thunderbolt Converter is multiple, it does make it a lot better, right? Like, you know, that's a lot of damage. Lightning damage. Lead aggressive. Terrible. You could end my run right now. Oh. Well, I don't have anything that applies burning. I really need to be really conscious, especially since I'm talking. Very easy for me to forget that I have a place like that and just kill myself. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. 
see how we do. So I don't want to go Lightning from the Void. Like, I think Lightning from the Void is good, but I don't think it's great with this sort of electric circuit type build that I'm looking for. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's the better way to go, but I'm going to try it a different way. I'm going to try it a different way. And another thing about electric circuit, it's a little limiting. Uh, they may change it eventually here, but it's the next hit. Um, so it says your next shot, but my assumption is like one pellet of the of a shotgun is all that gets transferred to everything. Now, I could be wrong. We can actually test that right now. That's what this whole run is for. Okay, but you, you're not supposed to die. Okay, die too quickly. I can't do any testing if you die. Okay, so are you alive? Man, still can't test it. Oh well. Love to see some free shields right there. Perfect. Okay, alright. Still did not get it. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Did you have anyone? I don't think that's it. Gosh, these are the best. Glad I didn't die right there. Long shot's great. Let's see that. Uh, I guess we already did this. I have no memory. Oh, I got. No, I have no memory. Oh, I got shield. That's right. Okay, you're all dead. I need some of you to live. Uh, prison? Prison, while not the highest damage, is probably the most flexible early game weapon because it pierces and does decay, meaning it's good against the two hardest bosses. Um, the biggest downside is it really doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Um, so uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Magical supply doesn't work with us. Thunder Tober is pretty good. So the question is, is like, right? We're, we're getting, we're trying to do this hybrid build where we're, our AOE comes from casting chain lightnings and then coming out of chain lightning and doing a big single hit, instant single hit of damage. And so it's unclear like which way which direction to go like thunder turbo does both like it gives you skill damage and weapon damage and so if you look at it as both of those things it's actually giving us 80 total damage increase sort of uh because it's giving us 40 on the skill and 40 on the weapon if it's maxed up tesla coil is probably the best choice though but um kind of tough to decide because like the problem is that chain lightning damage falls off really hard and it's great early, but then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And so, like, the point is to transition into it being a utility in the late game. And you need to, I need to be able to justify, like, casting Fatal Current, casting a couple Chain Lightnings, and then shooting and sort of repeating that process. And uh, that is a costly sort of cycle as far as time. Let's go Thunder Turbo. Uh, we need to be cognizant of the late game. Um, and Tesla uh, is always going to be available for us. Do we have an option to test? Okay, wait. No, we still can't test. God. Alright, well. One day we're going to be able to test.
And we get our free etch here. Kind of worthless. If this was a boss, I might consider upgrading my prism here. Um, but it looks like there's no need. Okay, alright. No. Okay, oh, okay. So I saw a single instance of damage, but then he died, right? So it might not be a good test. The AoE on Kyrus is just so terrifying and large. Okay. Game winningly powerful scroll. I will not complain. Yeah. I am gonna get a few super cheap upgrades there. It's 30% damage increase. I'll take it. Sure. This, uh, this <laughs> the early game is so much easier. I've been playing Slight's Way mostly, and uh, 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 doing these uh, doing these prep runs has actually been kind of fun just because I just like get to absolutely crush the game, uh, which is something I haven't been able to do in a while. So, Bolt from the Blue is fine in the sense that it gives us 50 skill damage. All right, the duration increase is really not what we're looking for. The shock effect turns into a thunderbolt. It's really not what we're looking for. We're trying to get utility out of casting. I mean, 50 skill damage is great. I think I might go supercharge here because it justifies us using uh, the, uh, the chain lightning more so. Hypercurrent's terrible, by the way, um, with this build. If you take High Power Dark, you'd never want to take Hypercurrent because Hypercurrent is base damage, meaning that uh, you see this, it says 150 base damage uh, for each bounce of Chain Lightning and plus three bounces, and I think it starts at three. So this is getting uh, six total bounces, meaning six times 150, so that's... 3 times 300, which is a 900% base damage increase. So when you get when you get one level of hypercurrent, you're getting a 10% increase in chain lightning. So it's very misleading. Um, so we'll take supercharge here. I, again, I, I'm really trying to justify in a utility sense me casting chain lightning. Right now, it's great because it gets me through the early game. So like, how can I build so fast? And not feel bad about taking high powered arc. This is easier said than done. Weapon and skill. Excuse me. Uh, I am looking for, let me remind myself, a single large instance of damage. Although, right now, something with piercing and decay type stuff looks good. Enhanced bluff is fine. Um, Fifty percent damage. I think I'll reroll it though. Ugh, this one's too OP. I don't take it. So I kind of lost that one there. Uh, I'd be happy to take that though instead of a. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This will work. Oh. Wait, are these good? I think they are good. So... This should work with what we're trying to do. That that should be fine enough. I don't think I need to get too much pickier than that. Uh, and... Frankly, I do love the aura. Uh, this is pretty good. And I am on lay low. This might be the one time I take a... Sting over Aura Venom. <laughs> it's not normally something I'm going for. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 
wanted to test this. Oh, everyone died again. I guess that 30% increase in damage for each bounce is more difficult. Uh, really, just absolutely destroying people. Which is cool. See there? We have proof. Just as a single instance of damage, so it's actually the marks on it is incorrect. It says it's not like shot. It's not. It's a single instance of damage. Uh, so to properly use this build, we really are limited in our weapon selection. Hmm. And so here I kind of have an option between, like, I already feel like I'm bouncing to enough people. Tesla coil is, like, going to be good, but it's not going to be what we want. What I like, it's just good now, but it doesn't scale us into the late game very well. Eye of the Storm is not what we want to be doing. We want it's, I would take Eye of the Storm over something that was moving our essential game plan forward. Eye of the Storm would be is going to be great against bosses specifically. Uh, so I am looking to pick this up, but a Storm Blast is, I think, what I'm looking to do eventually. Uh, so we're gonna have to try that. While we uh, yeah. test our builds here, yeah. get this little piece of essence. No essence left. so bad oh wow that's pretty good uh, love to see this fire dragon for whatever reason is, is uh, just 100% piercing yeah. 
those of you who probably already know that. But for those of you who don't, yeah. it's one of the reasons that yeah. Fire Dragon is so incredibly good. Because it is full piercing. Uh, golden Bow, huh? Interesting thought. You know, this is a high single instance of damage, isn't it? It is a high single instance of damage. And this also kind of fits in line with what we're trying to do. Another single instance of high damage. Um, I think Wait for Good seems pretty good, though. Kind of hard to pick. So at this point, I would kind of choose based on... So this will give me explosive ammo. And ultimate violence. Which both are very good. Ultimate violence. With one level of voltage storage, I can get that plus one, per one crit X, which is delicious. Explosive ammo. Crit hits will penetrate. Uh, and not at just 50%, so... This is also a huge single hit of damage, right? So like, I mean, this seems this seems like the right way to go, right? So like, I do this, right? Okay, I cast, I cast, I cast, and then I bam, hit one big hit with 200% lucky shot. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. I gotta try it out. This might be a boss room. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll still try it out. Dashing hurts me, Sag. Yeah. Increase the radius of the... Oh, look at this, look at this. Clever. I don't think it's quite good enough. This crit X plus 0 0.8 for 1.5 seconds after using the scope seems... So weak. So weak. Sure, we'll take some extra lucky shot. Can't go wrong with that. Nothing else seems good. I will take some extra charges yeah. of the orb. And we we'll put a casual $200 into this bad boy right here. Let's see what it does. Cast, cast. Bang. pretty good. That looks interesting, but not really what we're going for. That also looks interesting. That also that also looks interesting. This one, oh, finally, something uninteresting. Perfect. Uh, this is great. Stormblast 2, huh? Hypercurrents? Eh. Now, I was going to save this for my tier list, but level 1 heart of battle is actually much better than it used to be because of this current protection. Plus three second duration of Fatal Current and minus 30% damage taken is no joke. And pretty accessible with one level Heart of Battle, especially if you have one of the scrolls already. And the Fatal Current cooldown time is actually pretty meaningful, and it matters. It actually kind of adds up. as I Because I've been incentivized because of current protection, I've actually been picking this more, and it's been good. But yeah. one cannot argue with yeah. Stormblast. It's just too good. Just too good. Um, fake death is great. Just take that. And it doesn't really disrupt. Like I'm, I'm looking for something that doesn't really disrupt our build. So. Yeah. 
only 40% damage right now, and we're not getting the benefit from any of this in. Excuse me. Oh, and we lost all of our Thunder Turbo. Hmm. Either way, that did not feel very strong. Yeah. Do I keep upgrading this? It kind of seems cool, right? I'll put it to five. Keep testing it out for now. I mean, it's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, interesting that the uh, weight of the good not so good. Kill from the founder. Money, money, money. You're done. Alright, what are we looking at in here? What are we looking at? I don't see anything of interest. things about this is that to really get the crazy crit numbers, you actually kind of need to go through your sniper. Like, get the crazy crit from uh, sniper, right? Get it from the full sniper. So that was 3,000 damage. I mean, that was meaningful. That's a good dual thing. Interesting. So I think normally here I would take will take Aegis, but for science we need to continue to test our our stuff here. For science, inertia is a property of matter. It's very informative. I can really act on that information. Ah, 
so that's kind of cool. So one thing that you might have noticed right there is that uh, the electric circuit damage was able to get away from that 12 meters restriction. Uh, we'll come back to this. Death. Yeah, this is working. That's yeah, that that did damage. Science put us in a difficult position. I do think I like this elemental. F well, I mean, this, uh. Thirty percent chain lightning damage. But I'm wondering if we shouldn't take something a bit more defensive, like this, when shield is broken, immediately fully restore the shield and become invincible, because like the the chain lightning damage is I also think that lightning from the void is better than I give it credit for in this particular build. Increase shield recovery by 30%. Maybe this one here. Let's try this one. Let's try it again. Yeah. High power dark. Nope. Nope. Here we go. Uh, not super happy about any of these. We're a little bit faster this time. Scroll of the game. Uh, sure. Okay. Thunderbolt converter. Perfect. All right. So let's take this. See how this works out. So we do know that this is a multiplicative damage increase. So uh, you know we can get up to sixty percent multiplicative damage. Okay, so now we have two. That was... Oh, I think 
think I saw that uh, the secondary shots uh, had a chance to crit. Uh, I'll take a legendary scroll. Uh, I really don't use this. So we just, uh, we got punished. Roll the dice and. No testing, just moving. None of this looks great. Thunder Nemesis really doesn't further what we're doing. Hypercurrents, strictly terrible with this, but I have a storm that can help us scale on bosses, which we will need. Our single target damage will lack if this build gets off the ground in the way that I expect it to. Alright, we got 60% increased weapon damage. What do we got over here? Uh, we'll do this later. There was an enemy over here, but I knew it was a split enemy, so I just didn't kill him, because I didn't need to. Uh, this is fine. You know, the 50% reload speed is enough to use this one. Uh, none of these are great, but Tesla Coil does make high powered arc better, so we'll go ahead and take that. And do we have any buns laying around? Perfect. That's why we wait to do this. Because there's no reason to do it in the middle. Of a fight, and I can just get some buns afterward. Essentially, significantly reduce the cost. We also have a permit over here. Um, so we can just buy some buns. Ah, oh, but we have the moldy bun. That's right. Cover a random HP for bun. Uh, bullet light is lucky shot, and lucky shot is life. On any build that's trying to do a lot of single hit damage. Uh, we don't have piercing or decay. Oof, yikes. We could take this. Certainly not excited about it, but it does pierce. Might have should have just taken this, but gosh, just a plain old hell with no damage increases is... Hey, there we go. Maybe I can trigger some miasma. Uh, we'll leave this there just in case we choose one or the other and before I go. All right, these heels are moldy buns. It's hurting. It's hurting me. Yeah, what are you up to? Yeah. All right. I don't think I will be a lead spearman. That'd be better, sir.
Yeah, that, uh, that prism worked out great for us. Bloody drills, really not what we're looking for. Illusion seems fine. I'll take that. Or this. Uh, this seems like a good porcupine. You know, all things considered, I think it's going to do better than this prism is going to do. Sure. Bloody drills, just really not going to cut it. Bloody drills, good. Don't get me wrong. It's a good, like, pure sniper build. Uh, but it doesn't do like, yes. a high single instance. Of um, ah, so this is a great time to pick Persistent, I think. Uh, traditional Tactic is definitely not, excuse me, terrible either. Um, do we already have something for Traditional We have Bullet Light. Um, plus 80% normal damage is pretty good. But this, I'm not going to take this, I don't think. But this is why um, Heart of Battle is so good. Because you can take, you know, something like this, plus Heart of Battle, and get a significant... Uh, defensive bonus uh, in your cradle current. So we'll take explosive bullet. We're likely to be using some kind of normal sniper eventually, so uh, this I think just works out in my favor. Onward. Easy enough. Uh, nothing special there. Projectiles is not what we were looking for here. So, like, even if this had good stuff, like, I'd really want damage on this if I was going to consider taking it. Uh, that's great. This can't hurt, right? Um, can't hurt. Crit X increase is good. Reload time is really good. Uh, but... That's actually quite good too. So is this. Um, I think I will swap this out. Okay, nice. Craftsman, I don't see any reason to come back here. Another boss there. Splitting our ability to fall. Fusion of that pretty easily. Trying to. That's absolutely hard. This other method is easy. tough to choose here i think probably probably eye of the storm actually like the one level of tesla coil is just going the extra level of tesla coil is just going to make us stronger you know in a couple for like the next couple of you know, stages which i i'm not really not super interested in who are you who are you that's a good elemental that's a good angel for us. Alright, let's go fight this boss. I think we're in a very good position to kill any boss that we would face. And we've saved up a good amount of money. We have to do something, so do it. Oh, what's going on? 
robust. We are doing crazy yeah. damage though, actually. <laughs> Try elements of stuff going on. No problem. Strike wing's interesting. Poisonous ghost is not as interesting. Sure, spirit bible. Um, I think what we've got going on is working. Fine. I, I'm interested in switching over to a build that actually complements our strategy when it makes sense to. But uh, I don't think we're in a real position to, to be doing that yet. Hopefully the cards will align in favor a little bit more as we pick more ascensions. Alright. This is a good one in the sense that it furthers two spiritual links. We get the plus one bounce for Chain Lightning and the 25% chance to get double copper. Resolute really doesn't help us. This is also that 25% chance, but this is very expensive. I think this has the biggest impact on us now, and it gives us secondary skills. And I, in my experience, uh, it tends to give a lot of secondary skills. Uh, so, happy to see that. And I think we got yeah. boss. boss yes, sorry. Brutal Gloves, Decay Driver, probably Decay Driver. Does this help us? Not really. We want to be hitting crits, right? Decay Driver's probably good. Energy Sandals, Multiplicative Damage Boost on our Chain Lightnings. Probably nothing to scoff at. It's a good Wild Hunt. I think we are A-OK -okay to do this. I think, uh... This can't hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I did that. Um, I had a... I had a a chance there, 33% chance to get the double level, and I thought like, okay, well we can do that for the, for the chance to get the double level. of weapon for what I'm trying to do. Oh, that's great. Oh, interesting. I could see this being really good, too. For every ammo consumed. And it always consumes 8 ammo, so that's a 80% multiplicative damage increase on this rainbow arch. Why does it have plus 3? What am I missing? Ah, top gun. Oh, interesting. Well, this this might be something we can try. Let's take this. I don't like that. You know, this is a this is a big old one instance of damage, right? Uh, nothing here. I'm super excited about. Fulminus Zap's okay. But we'll take the heart of the battle. Probably the most part of the battle. Uh, probably has the most impact on what we're doing. The science continues. Happy to see fake death. Didn't save me last time, but maybe it'll save me this time. does actually kind of fit with what I'm trying to do. Because it takes kind of a minute to this kind of I see. So one thing I'm noticing is that even if, if 
I shoot, um, I lose my stacks of Thunderbolt Converter, even if I don't hit. So it's a little unforgiving. It seems fun. Get this going. What does this have? It has crit. So, I bet if I get a crit X Gemini with this, that would be pretty powerful. I'll probably get one of those going pretty soon here. Uh, 25% chance to get double copper. Money is good. And that gets me one step closer. So, why not? Look at that. That's, that's a lot of crit. That's a lot of crit. Sad to see you go, but it is what it is. Um, and this is always fine. It's so cheap. I can't really complain too much about that. Yeah, and if you didn't know, energy sandals is a, is it says skill damage, but it's not. It's multiplicative damage on your secondary. <laughs> I can see this being good with. Oh. Okay. Oh, battle. Huh? What does that do? X. Worth it. Hey, we got our electric circuit. Everything's dead. Okay. How am I supposed to use my electric circuit if everything is dead? This is for science, not for. Anything else? All right. I do feel how slow I am, though. Holy cow. Luckily, I've got the big thing. Hey, that did pretty good, right? This weapon, while not the most powerful weapon, one thing that's going for it is it doesn't have to the speed at which I want to be casting. And maybe that's an indication that any of these other weapons would work too. Um, I just need to play them in the way that this gun forces me to play. Uh, that being said, might be able to get a crit Gemini going on it right now. Crit Gemini. Crit Gemini. Son of a gun. Do I keep it here for now? A tough decision. I don't know. One question I have is does it. It doesn't affect the secondary skill at all to have it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Thunderbolt, co Thunderbolt Converter 2. Now, I have a Storm 3 normally. Uh, the pick there. Probably one of the best ascensions on this character. Multiplicative, 200% damage increase. Uh, you know what? There we go. Come on! Come on! Yeah! I'll take it. Now we just gotta upgrade. So I have the storm. Is if we go with this build, it's one of the big downsides about this particular weapon is that this is not going to be benefiting. Ah, I see. Uh, not going to be benefiting from some of our sniper-related stuff, which is a which is a significant downside. Hmm. 
I don't know, this like kind of golden bow type thing I think might work out really well. This is kind of like a a B tier version of a golden a good golden bow, right? Uh we'll take this one. <gasps> Merciless Strike not only doesn't do yeah. a whole lot for us, but also uh, <laughs> Also, it doesn't have good spiritual length that we can take advantage of, so... Goodbye. Alright, so let's see... Yeah. That's money. Look at that. Oh, that's what I want. That is such a good golden bow. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Are we gonna do we have to switch? We might have to switch. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to switch. One sec. Yep. Alright. Well, uh I will come back for that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, look, that is pretty legitimate, right? Like, that's not a joke. Okay, we gotta try out this golden bill. You see what it's like baseline, right? What are we looking at baseline here? Without the crit X Gemini. How strong is this? Is this, is this jank? Alright, stick them all together. Alright. Are they all dead? Killed this. Oh, it feels good. The only downside. Oh man. Okay. Baseline. Really strong. So, like, why is this uh, golden bow just disgusting? Because lucky shots so important. And this gives, you know, 50% lucky shot, plus 40, plus 20. So it's already at 110 lucky shot. Goodbye, Rainbow Arch. You were you were beautiful. Don't get me wrong. You were absolutely beautiful, but you're gone. Goodbye. We've got this crit Gemini ready to go. And this crit Gemini is extra good because it's got an extra 0.4 crit X. And we've got that traditional tactic going on. Which is great, because we, we thought about that, didn't we? That's why we got explosive bullets, because it's likely we're going to get... Oh, an explosive bullets is coming in, too. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, let's go. And the hit! We got him. Terrifying. Minus 10% move speed. I don't think I have any move speed scrolls either. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, uh, I think I'd like to see um, lightning from the void. But this is working out better than I thought it would. So there's like, I feel like there's like two ways you can play the lightning from the void build then. Like you can do the, like, cast a lot of chain lightning with like something like a woodpecker. And that works pretty well, because um, then you can take care, you can take advantage of Eye of the Storm, and you get that early game boost 
uh, from being able to use high powered arc, which is just so incredibly strong in the early game. But there's also this one, which is more like the slow, methodical lightning kind of void build. <laughs> I got this backup shield, man. Ow. Oh. Egg. All right, back into it. I don't know. It's feeling pretty good. All right, give me that crit Gemini. All right, I'll take it. Second round, Maybe not too bad. Window Arch, you were beautiful. You were beautiful. I mean, that is like worth casting, right? Like that, that really did solve my daily problem. I can actually fight this guy. Uh, but I think that's the last shielded yeah. delete for the rest of the game. So uh, we'll just uh, what what do I want to say? We'll just run away. That's what we'll do. We don't need to kill him. Never use this weapon. It is. It obviously does have its its, uh, its spot. Yeah, it's, it's right here. Okay, elite gathering. Come on, no shield guy, please. Happy to see Thunder Turbo here. Uh, Hawkeye Sight is fine, but it's actually not that great. Like I'm fine with it, but it, I, there are a lot of other things I think I'd rather see. Um, that being said, I think we'll end up picking it up after I think about it for a second. Like any movement speed or dash uh, scroll would have been far better. Two, two more critics. You know. Once this charges up, it has more crit X, right? Um, I think it gains two crit X or something. So we're at nine. So going from nine to eleven, you know, it's like a twenty, something like a twenty percent increase, which is just, it's just fine. It's nothing, nothing insane. Um, I think we'll go ahead and take supercharge here. Really trying to push the like. Uh, Push 
this particular build, kind of what we're trying to do, this experiment as far as it'll go, and just kind of see what happens from it. Uh, this Top Gun was pretty good, right? That was part of the reason that we were doing so good with the uh, Rainbow Arch. This will be really, really good if we can get this going. Lightning Whip would be fine. A little bit more damage. And Misfortune Aura, you know. Probably alright. Alright. No movement speed against this guy, huh? That is not good. That is real bad, in fact. Alright, give me two. Only give me one. Yeah. How are we feeling? Bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Okay. See, we're fine. game of my life. Flowing time. Like, I like that. I don't need to read any of these. I don't care what they do. I don't think any of them could possibly do anything worth getting. Um, so here, let's imagine I didn't have I have the Storm 3. Because, right, we're trying to see what this build does. I would probably take Voltaic Aegis over Voltage Surge. Because uh, Eye of the Storm, like, our, our boss damage is fine. Clearly, we just absolutely melted that boss. We need some survivability. I think Aegis is probably the way to go. Even outside, even, like, knowing that Eye of the Storm is so good. Especially at level 3. Um, I can re-roll for free. I don't see that helping me. This is fine. You know, gives me increased weapon damage. And I'm not really using the OP part of it. I'm really just, yeah. I just want like the 100% weapon damage. So we'll take this. I'd love to see a jackpot there. Look at that. I mean, that's not a, that's pretty legit. And this would be even better with lightning from the void. It would only be better, right? Oh, interesting that perfect six is even better. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, give me a du oh it did. Alright, I'll stop whining. I'll stop. Maybe it didn't. I can't I can I whine? I don't know. What I guess, I mean, I think it's this, this yeah. golden bow. I wonder if there's something, like, unique happening with the damage enhancement, as well as the way that golden bow scales up its damage. Uh, am I happy about that? <laughs> yeah. I got deadly counter, which means I have explosive ammo, so this game is cranked. Yeah. Like I said, right, keep playing the way we've been playing. Ignoring pain. Ignoring this pain for very long.
it's only 70 damage. All right. So here I think, you know, knowing how much like crazy damage I'm doing, like voltage surge looks really good, right? But I think normally I would get this um, thunder turbo. So I will. Remember, science rules. Science in action. Just a chump change run, a uh, chump change room. Genesis is not very helpful. Does it really do anything? Plus two rate of fire for every ammo consumed. Up last ten seconds. Really, really not helpful. Should, I don't know. The reward is not worth the risk. the damage though. Pump it, pump it. There we go. Can't believe it didn't give me two plus twos. So, I mean, I think this build is sort of reliant on you getting something like this. You know, something... Like, I could see this golden bow being really good. Like a good golden bow. But I think that forcing this build gets a little... Uh, you're gonna need something that allows you to force... Or, like, maybe re-roll your... Like, maybe I can see... Uh, the crafts can uh, re-roll being a little bit better on this particular uh, build. Just, ooh, oh, man, that was itch so bad. Just so that you can sort of have a better chance of getting, like, of the few types of weapons that really work with electric circuit, uh, like having them be successful. Oh, uh, I don't want to do this. Not, uh, wait, it's just one of these, huh? Wait. Oh, I do want to do this. Yeah. I misunderstood. So, I thought I saw the normal challenge. That's so cool. Yeah. It's actually good. Like, it's kind of interesting that you can pick the easiest enemy to hit and then just sort of like, do all your damage to him. And then just murders everybody else. That is absolutely disgusting. All right. Uh, this this uh, explosive ammo is so overpowered. The spiritual link is just incredibly disgusting. So I think once again, Ninja's disciple really does help us. We're already doing red red lucky shots though. On the house would get us nothing, and untold effort would actually improve. It would get us a spiritual link, and it's just incredibly good uh, with, uh, you, know, you know, doubling our chain lightning damage is it's really, 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 really strong. So I suspect that that would work. Uh, one thing to note is that 
Um, so we did just get this. So we got plus one bounce, which is another 150 base damage for our high-powered arc infused chain lightning. Um, what was the point that I was trying to make? Oh, uh, untold effort's way better if we have lightning from the void. Because when lightning from the void casts chain lightning, it doesn't cost anything. So we don't get that 50% chance to double our cost, but we still get the 50% chance to get 100% multiplicative damage increase. Hello, I know you're there. about this sort of build, I'm noticing, this is something I was sort of theory crafting when I was coming up with this, is that um, because your chain lightning is actually doing some significant damage, the fact that, and the fact that uh, your sniper builds have a tendency to overkill enemies, which means that that overkill damage, I think, applies. So I think, like, if you do a million damage, and you have chain, uh, you know, electric current level three. You do a million damage to all the enemies. Like, I could be wrong about that. It might be capped by the the hit units max HP. But anyway, because they take like an actual chunk of damage from the lightning damage, uh, it means that they're more likely to die from the subsequent uh, electric circuit damage, which uh, is interesting. Happy to take this. Um, and it looks like it got us something else here. Got us Boundless Lightning. Sweet. So that's a easy 10% uh, multiplicative damage from the shot. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, the, the biggest thing I, I, I'm a little bit worried about is I just don't know how good this is without a really strong weapon that directly complements it, right? 90% Ow. any boss I'm really scared of. Destroy a curse scroll. Oh, please. Please. Get rid of this. Thank you. Alright. We're back up to full move yeah. speed. A.K.A. still some of the worst move speed ever that I've had at this point in the game. Yeah. But we're gonna keep going. So why didn't that trigger it? I wonder if it's because of the explosive bullet that did the kill. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh. Is that 12 million damage? Looks like it. So why am I doing 12 million damage? Why am I doing 12 million damage? Yeah. You might ask yourself. It's real simple. It's real simple. It's character. So this is 40% multiplicative crit damage. This is 100% multiplicative damage. This is a multiplicative damage increase. This is a multiplicative damage increase. This is a multiplicative damage increase. Oh, and, and uh, you know, this is a multiplicative damage increase. The 100% extra damage. So, that's how. And if you need to know more about what B multiplicative and why B multiplicative damage increase, why it do what it do, and why you should too, uh, ask me in the comments and I will explain to you with math why multiplicative damage increases matter so much. You know, we're, we're on the subject. We're on the subject. So, like, the idea is that a multiplicative damage increase means that it's it, it's uh, separate usually from other types of bonuses. So if I if I have it's like this whole like uh, like base damage um, from a high powered arc. Uh, this base damage increase is additive with itself. Every time you get this plus fifty percent base damage increase, you're sort of adding to the same bucket. So now it's, you're not gaining. You're not multiplying by 1,500, then multiplying the result of that by, uh, not 1,500, but 150% each time. But a multiplicative da damage boost would total up the base damage increases, then multiply against that, right? Instead of adding into that same pool of base damage. A little easier to explain with math. Ask me if you'd like to know more. Let's upgrade. All right, I want six upgrades right here. I want it. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing absolutely crank damage. This golden bow is insanely powerful. I will say, I do think that this Thunderbolt Converter is helping. And now we're just going to get even crazier. I mean, like, I could do this, right? But... Yeah. Come on. Come on. I don't have to use Fatal Current for this. I can just Chain Lightning once and basically get a free... Um, you know, a free one. Alright, alright. I think I have some free. The game wants me to have the most overpowered stuff. Uh, this is... I'd rather fight yeah. the snake. The snake would get crushed by this build. <laughs> Alas. What can one do against such reckless... I don't know the quote. Someone out there knows the Lord of the Rings quote that I am... Oh, look at that. Moldy yeah. bun. Countered. Alright, I want... I want to go to plus 20. Yes. Almost. Almost. That's a big deal. Alrighty then. You're dead. Alright, I do a lot of damage, but uh, this guy has so many invincibilities. Kind of scary.
dodge for Sometimes you come back here to Sometimes you go back there right before it rains down stuff and you kind of get stuck back there, which is never any fun. All right, we got Electric Circuit 3, so now we can kind of test. So originally in my first tier list, I put this at like basically top of the charts. It is extremely powerful, so I'm glad we get to test it out and see just how good it is. Uh, it allows us to apply uh, the Electric Circuit to just about everything. Um, so... I think I'd rather have Jackpot over Lightning Messenger. I just feel like this is going to... Ooh, did we get the... Yeah, I think we got it. No, maybe. I can't remember how much money we had before. I don't know if we got the double. Okay. Alright, did we die? That's actually kind of a limitation of the ability that I actually need to have. All right, you're right there. Yep. You actually have to have like enough uh, charges. Random normal. No way. Everything I have in here is just extra. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I thought I upgraded it. For some reason, I, I, it says plus 19 still on the card there. I got worried. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, we gave away Lightning Messenger. So now we're not getting this shock multiplicative damage increase. Okay, well, what can you do?
Mini Mythos. Yeah. <laughs> What's this Mini Mythos? No way, I'm not taking that. What do you, what do you, who do you take me for? Come on. <laughs> Did my best. He's agile, guys. Pretty hard to hit with a golden bow, at least for me. Uh, you know, f what is my crit rate? Fifty-one percent. Do they show hit rate? I can't remember. I'm not sure, but uh, that was a cool run. Interesting that my total damage forty-seven percent, um, which indicates that a lot of my damage actually, since I used this golden bow, came from uh, electric circuit. Which is pretty... Uh, 76? Uh, you know, maybe that's good. Maybe that's not good. I don't know. It might be uh, messed up by something. Oh, I also had Lucky Copper, right? With the jackpot. This is a lot. Explosive ammo is a big deal. You know, if I could hit my shots, I think I would have been in a really good spot right there. Um, I probably should have just point blanked him once I had... Uh, once he was the only enemy left just and I had a uh, fake death. Just like point blank... Just fire until he dies. That would have been the better play. Well, anyway, that was a really fun run. I think I learned a lot. I think I have a better sense of the power level of things like Thunderbolt Converter and this sort of electric current build. I don't know if these... I think these are so situational. But I could see them being especially powerful with Lightning from the Void in this sort of slower, methodical thing where you're using this golden bow type stuff. So, anyway, hope that was uh, enjoyable for you. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.